Today I am visiting Orchard Fields in Malton. The Roman fort at Malton was the heart of the Roman settlement and the reason that it existed in the first place. It was located on the north side of the River Derwent and the lines of its defences can be seen today in Orchard Fields. It was a large fort and its importance is reinforced by the vitality of the town that grew up around it and south of the river in Norton. Despite this obvious importance, the only sustained investigation has been the excavation report by Philip Corder in 1930. This centred on the fort's northeast gate, but also exposed some internal buildings in this area. There was also some trial trenching in, in the fort interior and elsewhere on the defences. This means that we can have a tantalisingly bare outline of the history of the fort. What is clear is that it remained in occupation from the beginning of the Roman period to the very end. The fort's origin lay in the first phase of the Roman military, military intervention in Yorkshire. There are hints of some early activity in the 70s AD, the same decade in which the legionary fortress at York was founded. However, the first fort that we can be certain of dates to the governorship of Aricola, AD 77, to 83. Even the name of the fort is uncertain. For many years Moulton has been identified with the Latin name De Ventio, though some Romanists today believe it to be Delgovicia. Moulton Museum holds an extensive collection of Roman artefacts from Orchard Fields. <laughs> 